Stoplight is our uh, design tool. Um, so we use Stoplight and the design libraries to make sure we have a shared uh, language um, to appreciate the APIs. Hi, I'm Ryan, API product lead at Fireserve in our developer platform for EMEA. Hey everyone, I'm Dave Holliday. Uh, I'm an API product manager uh, working on the uh, Fireserve developer platform in EMEA. Fireserve is a global company that I like to say most people haven't heard of them, but I can pretty much guarantee you have used in some way. Fireserve has been going for probably about 35 years providing financial technology and payment solutions um, to some of uh, the world's biggest uh, customers. Fiserv overall does a lot of different solutions, whether it's core banking, issuance of cards, or merchant acquiring. Merchant acquiring is really what we love to do because that's what we work on. Merchant acquiring is simply put, enabling businesses to accept payments online or in store. Part of the challenge that we have to overcome is how do clients understand how to integrate with it in a really simple way? So maybe historically, you might have this whole team set up who need to handhold you through that journey. We're actually in a modern day world, um, developers are being more and more empowered to be able to do it without even talking to anyone. So that's one of the challenges that we are tackling is actually how do we make sure we stay up to date with the way that people want to integrate with us? It's kind of the classic, uh, classic problem everybody has now of uh, digital transformation and cloud adoption um, and trying to speak that language of APIs now because everything speaks the language of APIs nowadays. Um, and so all of our kind of customers and enterprise merchants and acquirers and institutions um, are just really starting to look for API based integrations and making sure that that's as sweet as possible. Consistency and standardization is really important to our developer experience. You don't want your business to come across as having many, many different faces and being incredibly confused to someone trying to understand what you do. And it's exactly the same for us in the developer experience side, building up the developer portal, building that developer experience documentation and the APIs themselves. So having consistency for us means really, even though the APIs have been developed by a bunch of different API product managers and a bunch of different development teams across the business, they all feel as though they've been written with one voice and that kind of single person. And that from a developer perspective, you can super easily integrate with that because they're all, they're all the same. One, there's multiple different teams because this is payments is massive. It's not like you have one person or one team developing this. You've got different components which make up this entire product. So you need to make sure there's consistency across different teams. In our case, um, Fireserve is actually made up of different acquisitions, but a big one that happened in 2019 was Fireserve and First Data merged. So part of our job as the external developer platform team working on external APIs is we need to abstract some of that complexity and we need to make it consistent across the board. So it's an incredibly fun job actually. Um, and I love some of the, the kind of methodologies we've got in place to try and deal with that as a team. We've got uh, a bunch of tools and methodologies to make sure we can scale uh, and provide consistency and reliability across our APIs. Ultimately, we rely on API product managers um, designing these APIs, and then also look and work with our technical team and architecture team um, to look at the source systems and the key systems that we need to be exposing. Stoplight is our uh, design tool. Um, so we use Stoplight and the design libraries to make sure we have a shared uh, language um, to appreciate the APIs. So we gather all of the domain feedback and all of the underlying system information, um, convert that into a customer data model or what we call the experience data model. Um, and we use that to model out our uh, APIs themselves. I think it goes hand in hand. You've got different tools that you use, like using Stoplight, using things like Miro, in some cases just using Confluence or an Excel. We have lots of internal teams that are using Stoplight as well and use it in different ways and actually make sure that they use stuff in the right ways so they don't cause any errors is another interesting thing. There. Something that we do as API product managers is we hold design reviews for APIs when they've kind of heading towards the end of finishing a design so that it's shared with the group and we all review it to look for consistency, maybe identify things that could be improved. Design reviews have been 
invaluable for us, I think. What we've actually found more recently is this idea of API design has got embedded quite well within the organization. And we're finding that these system APIs that we had, that we thought were internal, are actually not very far off of external APIs. So it's like actually the lift to take what we've got as internal APIs is becoming smaller and smaller to make it external. APIs are becoming more and more important to the, the modern world and how clients want to interact with us. Even in 2022, I've already seen a change of the level of API designs that we're getting in the organization. It's interesting when you start to look at what do you measure to justify the value that we're adding or APIs are, that are adding. And I think there's obviously KPIs around just even API consumption uh, in terms of API volumes, but also looking at who of our new clients that are coming in, how did they come in? And what's interesting is we're finding probably every client when they go out to tender are going, we want to see your APIs. So that's the interesting piece when you start to measure, you know, the value that we add from a monetary point of view or the number of clients. Internally, the number of people who are coming to us and asking us for advice, when they come to us and they say, hey, we want to redesign this, can you be part of these workshops? I think that in a way is kind of an intangible measure of going, we're doing something right because people are asking us more questions. Another interesting measure for me is looking at the kind of current speed of integration for clients. It's something we're, you know, we're starting to measure now and it's looking really good. Uh, we don't have any specific metrics on it yet, but uh, but that's a really that's a really good measure because that's, you know, that's what you want. You want people to be able to build the applications and integrate with the Fiserv services in the fastest time possible so they can realize the value of our services faster. Uh, and the faster a, mer a merchant can get up and running and take pay and be super happy with that, you know, the better everything becomes. I think with our kind of API journey, what we're doing with the dev portal, what I think is really interesting is understanding our clients' needs and actually our clients vary quite a bit and understanding what is it that they want, what is it that they're trying to achieve and how do they want to integrate. There's kind of a nice opportunity that comes along that people don't immediately think about with a, a solid API program is the openness it gives you to innovation or kind of makes innovation easier just makes it really easy to start building some really cool stuff that nobody's seen before.